The reason why God created tithing, tithing has nothing to do with giving God money. Can I say it again? Just for the CD purpose. <laughs> tithing has nothing to do with giving God money. God doesn't need nothing from you. You couldn't even give God nothing. Everything on the earth already belongs to God. He don't need nothing from us. So when God sets something up, it's not because he needs it. Tithing and offerings is God's management training program for mankind. Boy, this is so important. God doesn't need a penny from us. And yet he tells us 10% of everything is mine. We only think of money. And that's our problem. If you get 10 pairs of shoes, one of them ain't yours. If you get 10 dresses, one of them ain't yours. If you bought 10 oranges, one of them is not yours. If you got 24 hours in a day, 2 hours and 40 minutes don't belong to you. I ain't got no time to pray. What are you talking about? You got 2 and a half hours and 40 minutes that don't belong to you. You're a thief every day when you don't use those two hours and 40 minutes for God's purposes. You are a thief. A tired thief. <laughs> Sleeping on God's time. You spend two hours, four hours, eight hours watching cable television and don't give God the two hours and 40 minutes that belong to him. 10%. You can't even manage two hours and 40 minutes. You're trying to get money. You ain't money, money in your problem. Management is your problem. God could any time of day command you to give the dress away in your closet. One of them ain't yours. So tithing and offering is not about money. It's about management. Can you consistently, God says, put aside 10% of everything for my purposes? That's tithing. Can you consistently? Now, now, now let, me, let me tell you something. Listen to me. 100% of everything belongs to God. What did I say? Everything to God. No, no. Say it again. What did I say? Everything to God. Okay. So, God blesses you with a paycheck of a thousand dollars. How much of that belongs to God? Okay, you're doing good. You're the smart. Now, how much did God say to put aside for His work? Ten percent. How many is left? 90%. Which one does belong to God? Oh, you're getting smart. Okay. All right. So then why would God, if he owns all 1,000, want you to put aside 10% if all of it still belongs to him? Why? Because it's not about the money. It's about your ability to put it aside. Your will, your control, your discipline to put it aside. He's after your discipline. If you can manage the 10% properly, then he is happy to trust you with the 90% that's left. But because you've been unfaithful in the 10%, you keep losing the 90%, so you end up with no percent. That's why you're broke. And so you tell God, I can't pay tithes this week, things tough. We're in crisis right now, God. You got to figure this out. Things too rough. God is saying, what are you talking about? Your salvation is in the tide.
हैं Let me take you one step further. This is what tithing does to you. Number one, what's the first word? Accountability. Accountability. Write it down. Now, each one of these words is management. If you keep paying your tithes and giving your offering, you automatically first become accountable. What's the second word? Discipline. Discipline. For you to put that aside every single time, it takes control. What's the third word? Honesty. Honesty. For you to be a tither. That means no one's watching except God. And he knows if you're paying it or not. You can lie to everybody else, but God knows if you're paying 10%. That means it makes you honest. And managers must be honest. What's the fourth word? Diligence. Diligence, Diligence means that you work at it constantly to make sure you don't steal that 10%. That's what managers are supposed to do. What's the next word? Oh my God, that's what's wrong with managers. They are unfaithful. And it takes faithfulness to tithe. What's the last one? Trustworthiness. Trustworthiness. For you to manage a tithe, God got to trust you every time. I just gave you the characteristics of a manager. They are accountable. They are honest, they are diligent, they are faithful, they are trustworthy. Jesus one day showed top class management. One day he had 5,000 people in a field and they were all hungry. And there was, they say, plus women and children. So they must have had about 12,000. And he is about to to distribute some resources to them. I want you to watch him at work, okay? Matthew 6, verse 40. It says, So they sat down in groups of hundreds and fifties. That's administration, organization. Then he took the five loaves and the two fishes. That's the resources. Looking up to the one who owns them, he thanked them for letting him use them. That's appreciation. That means they don't belong to you. someone else's property he broke it then he gave them to his disciples and they gave it to the people delegation it's management delegation watch him he also divided the two fish among them all and they all ate and were satisfied that's customer service <laughs> give God a hand for good customer service all were satisfied. Now watch his management kick in. It says, and the disciples, he told them to pick up every crumb. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to imagine this. 12,000 people in an open field. Breaking bread and pieces of fish. Now how in the world are you going to find pieces of bread, crumbs, and pieces of fish bone and stuff in the grass he says pick up every crumb in the book of matthew it actually says it. he says and he said to them pick up every crumb and bring it to me i don't want to waste nothing That's what I'm about. this country is built on a culture of waste yes, yes, yes. and it is in the church yes, it is. Yes. who Go direct to the buffets after service. You? And what do you do at that buffet? Now you know the plate is too small for what you want to do. You pile it up, sit at the table, and half is left in the plate. You are a bad manager and God takes notes. Cheryl, waste food. That ain't funny. He made them pick up the crumbs. It was not the crumbs that were important. It was the lesson he was teaching. You don't waste the crumb. 